Hello, my name is Shadley and welcome back to another episode of Rags Riches. In previous episode we had to do a bit of a rescue operation here. We did manage to connect back with the troops in here, trying to slowly kind of take control back over the border in here. I mean, if we can do that, and that means that the enemy can't bring in more troops to this pocket. Hopefully, I mean, well, they'll still bring in a lot of troops through there, unfortunately, but if possible, we might be able to stop them for the most part, and that Russian should be just entering safely to the outside of the border and start shooting at the enemy. And that seems to be the case. We've got some tanks. Oh! Oh, that Algerian unit is causing a lot of issues right now. But I'm gonna have to get some troops in here. Did we? Oh, we lost that trench. Oh, no, we didn't actually start even building. We've got a fair bit of Nigerian units helping us, so we should be able to destroy the enemy units next to it. Then we'll start building up the trench. And hopefully we can kind of get along south or south along this river as soon as we get a proper garrisons in here in these cities then we should be all right speaking of garrisons we lost a garrison at the trench here uh okay that wasn't our light infantry in there that is why I mean, we basically have no light infantry we've got one in here uh, it's trying to recapture some of the uh, friendly units from time to time but at least the southern part of this front is now fully ga uh, garrisoned we've got 32,000 men in reserves right now. That's not a lot. We do have another IF-2 here that we can send to the combat area. Send to Binga and then from there we'll kind of divert somewhere else. Hold on, we need to stop that one. You're not allowed to go there. There we go. These IF-2s do a lot of damage on hard targets. That much is obvious. Are you going to go around, or are you going to try to get in? Oh, yeah, you are trying to get around. Okay, we need to stop you. It's a good thing that you went into the open. Oh, well, relatively open. Okay, there's a lot of troops trying to get through here now. I'm going to stop this. Yeah, that one's turning around. Smolly is sending some troops in. Uh, how are we doing in here? I mean, we are again in an encirclement here. Oh, and that tank needs to pull back. I'm going to start building a barracks down here, actually. Because it is a city, we can do that. We may need some help in holding this. I mean, right now, I think we'll be alright. I mean, one thing that I suppose I could do... Continue the trench uh, way over here. Is that... There's only one garrison in there so far. I'm just going to send you to repair. And then we've got three tanks in here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start entrenching the tanks over here along the... area. Just a little bit. Mostly the northern because over here we've got garrisons enough to stop the enemy. Provide a bit of uh, fire support. And then if we could reach down here to this city and have a... A line of uh, trenches going all the way through, then we can kind of, uh, well, not ignore, but we don't need to worry about that too much. Uh, we lost some territory somewhere, but at least we gained some territory over here as well. So it's not all bad, and there's a lot of industrial goods being offered to me. I got 100,000 though. Um, I don't necessarily think we need more. So industrial goods, I'm gonna reject that one, and that one. Oh, Congo is offering peas, but they are requesting a lot of money, so I'm not going to accept that one. Yeah, I mean, uh, they're probably not doing all that strong either. Um, let's just take this group again. Send them to be repaired in the south. Go ahead and take these troops and just move them around so they're not there constantly. Now, I suppose what I could do, I could take some of these elite guards... I know that they're not necessarily the best units. But we can use them to defend a little bit, especially on places where there's not that much action going on. I mean, if we were to do some... Well, we could have them in the middle there, for example. Have one um, combat engineer over here, another one over here, and then those in the middle. Then the elite forces can start moving up north, and then we could start cutting... or shooting at the enemies trying to traverse along that road. So kind of started to impose a... Not a strict blockade of the city of Brazzaville, but kind of. At least doing some damage there. 
And over here, our garrisons are holding. There's still a lot of troops in there. But those kind of have gotten themselves um, encircled there. Uh, is that... Oh, that is our troop or unit, but it's uh, currently a bit battered. So I can't really do that much with it. Um, oh, Guinea and Rwanda have allied. Okay. I'm not going to take that one. You're offering light infantry. Um, how much are you asking for all this? 300 million. Hmm. So there's light infantry, that's infantry. That's like mechanized infantry. Uh, these, I believe, are tanks. These are artillery. I don't know what that one is, but that is probably infantry. I think I will accept that, just to have a look what they are. Wait, no, that's not... No, 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 Dominican Republic. That is where we should have the troops. Or are they going to be transported over? Oh, hold on, who did I buy it from? I think they start from here immediately then. Or maybe, oh wow, you've taken some damage. Have we got on the, no, the emplacement has not been built yet. Or did they start in my capital? Oh, they did. Okay, well, let's take the... Wait, no, 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 no. These were here before. So they didn't start there. I'm not entirely sure where they started then. Technically speaking, I mean, I don't remember if I had the... I'm sure that they appear somewhere. Question is where? Oh, here they are. Right, well, um, let's do a sea transport. Down to there, I guess. Did we get the infantry in here? No, it's on its way. But it will take some time. I'm kind of hoping to at least approach this road here a little bit. And then if we can get another group, we could maybe get these two elite forces next to the city. Take the city. Because that would be a really important place to take over. They would have to go around, which if we can get artillery within reach, we can just basically damage anything trying to slip past there. Okay, well, um, that's going all right. This is still a bit messy. Do we still have the infantry somewhere? We do. Let's go ahead and recapture that. This is also... Oh, we just lost the IF2 here. That's not good. You're offering some industrial goods along the burn, but I don't think we're going to take your stuff right now. There's two APCs going through here. One IF2 and one APC, which is taking technically the same thing. There's a Russian anti-tank gun... In there, a lot of these are still trying to repair. Wait, Thailand is sending troops through here. I mean, luckily we still got the defensive line in here. If we could just extend the defensive line over here, then we'll be all right for the most part. Like they won't be able to get through this anytime soon, as long as we keep them busy over here, especially. Who is bombarding you? Oh, I think what's happening is that there's the Russian unit and the Nigerian units are shooting at the Somalian units and vice versa. So if we capture these, these should be safe. Although that Russian unit is going to be probably destroyed before it gets back to safety. Um, we've got IF-2s over here. Let's go ahead and recapture that. We can maybe destroy some of the troops there. And we may need to recapture this as well. Do we have any more troops? We've got one more unit in here. Send you to the city, which needs defending. Actually, no. I'm going to send you to the north. Start defending that area. There we go. There's another one destroyed. So, slowed a bit, surely. We are retaking control of that again. It's going a bit back and, back and forth right now, unfortunately. But yeah, I was sending you there. I suppose what I could do, I could start... Oh, right, I didn't build trenches for these guys. That's alright. You can still move in there, start entrenching. Destroy a couple enemy units. All the good things. 
We move you into there already. There might be some enemies trying to get past, but since we've got troops on either one of these, we can still shoot anything trying to get past, as long as there's not too many of them. Plus, we just got a lot of friendlies released from there. I think we're going to do another line over here. Let's just leave this bit open, and then we'll put the trench over there. Don't know what I'm going to do with these. But I might start moving some of these trench lines forward and just r remove some of the older ones. Right, so there's... Oh, right, this was the stuff in here. I mean, did I... I thought I had more garrisons in here than this. Oh, it only allowed me to have four before I built the barracks, and then I didn't touch that later on. Right, that makes sense. Let's go ahead and get in here. If we could uh, move you down there, that would be nice. Okay. There we go, so at least we kind of secured the road again. What I might do is I might actually start building up a trench line on the road. So that we can make sure that we have that road at least uh, secured. Maybe a bit like in here we got, we'll secure the road. You probably want to pull back a little bit. There's a lot of enemy troops there. Well, actually it's only one enemy troop there. Okay. Oh, that's Somalian troops uh, defending this for us. Good. And uh, we did get the trenches in here. How much are we... We're going for full over there. I think over here we're just going to go for four garrisons each. I don't think there's going to be need for more than that. Because that's also going to be four garrisons. But if it's sending one or two units at a time, the four garrisons will be plenty. Especially in 11 days once we get the upgrade. Still need to remember it was 8, 4 and 10 on the stats there that were shown. So we'll need to remember to compare that. Because I don't remember those uh, next stats out of the top of my head. Right, these elite guards. Oh, there's one still behind there. Start entrenching there. We can send you guys to entrench in the forest there. And then you guys can entrench in there. It's still jungle, so we don't necessarily need to build trench for you guys. You're pretty good at defending. And that's going to be a lot of en dead enemy units, and we can start shooting at the enemy troops going through there. So that's going to be really good for us. I mean, it's uh, still not a lot of advancing, but it might just be enough. Right, so have we got on... We've got a little bit garrison in here. It should be enough to destroy some of the attacking enemy units. And did we... Oh, we never started building the trench down here. At least we got a bit of garrison in here. No, it's one unit. It's not even all one. Out of that, so actually not that much. But we're digging a lot, let's just put it that way. Uh, ooh. Let's go ahead and send these to be repaired. Looks like they could use a bit of uh, rest. And then these guys could maybe be used again on a strike on this side. Against the enemy artilleries. That might be worthwhile. Of course, is there... Oh, I don't think... oh no, there is a garrison in there. It's just not a large garrison. This one has basically no garrison, but there's a lot of troops in there. It is a barracks, nonetheless. Oh, what did I... Did I not start building the trench in here? I suppose I did not. Let's uh, remedy that. There we go. Now that they've got troops trying to move through there. We're not really destroying most of them, but we're certainly doing a lot of damage on them. Well, actually, no, we're destroying quite a few of them. And did we... Oh, right, because we're bombarding and there's so many troops nearby that barracks, they can't repair in there right now. So they're trying to get into the next place to repair, which is probably all the way in, up there. So all these damaged troops trying to get through may just get destroyed. And there's everyone offering... Oh, you're offering... Oh, no, you're requesting consumer goods. Okay, that one's some that we will take. And metal ore, sure. We'll sell some. Palmaria Reserve Units. I don't think I need that right now. We're still selling the stuff to Taiwan. I just decided to go for the ore to accept those because, I mean, they just want to buy metal ores usually. I know, okay, we're selling it to them. Okay, I think we are going to build up the trench for over here. We'll just move in. Like, once these have been completed, we'll get rid of these. Oh, crap. If there were being bombarded. They didn't actually get that done. Right. Um, 
You know, there's a lot of friendlies in there, but for how long, we don't know. We could, of course, just take another combat engineer unit from here, which actually, let's do that. To get us a little bit closer to the road. I mean, we know that there's artillery there. We need to destroy it, but I don't think our infantry can really get in there quickly enough. Although, I suppose what I could do is just advance in here in the meanwhile. I mean, we'll have the other crew entrench over there, for example. soon as it can and just go ahead and destroy these artillery troops so we'll be able to destroy a lot more of the troops going through because we're not being suppressed at that point that is a lot of units in here though my goodness right what about the situation in the north um oh we lost a unit here oh dear um that one's still in pretty good shape uh, the garrisons, on the other hand, aren't very large. Of course, trying to get the garrisons into be a slightly bigger is going to be quite a problem, nonetheless. I start entrenching there. I mean, at least we got these that we can now start building up in terms of garrisons. And then once we've got some of these already, I mean, I don't think we have really garrisons in here yet. So let's just have you probably entrench in there. And once we're ready, we'll start moving them in. Now, have we got on? I don't think we have got on another unit in here. No, not yet. Those are just some spare units that we had. Um, don't really have any. I mean, we've got a couple of elite guards still that we can move around. I'm not going to move those around because if there's someone trying to sail through here, and it's enemy, I want to be able to shoot them. Okay, there we go. Um, let's just go ahead and cut that road for a little bit, shall we? There's a lot of damage in a short period of time. There we go, we captured some of the artillery. Or, like, got them on our side of the territory. Let's just send you back down that way. In the meanwhile, I should actually just rebuild that trench and get these back to full in numbers. I can probably scrap this facility. I'm going to keep these two in here still. I might even scrap these that are further behind here. We've still got the entrenchments in here. So we don't necessarily need these. You know what? Might actually do is uh, I'm going to keep that one which doesn't actually have any garrisons anyway wait a minute oh right you guys did get through there so we did okay damage there how is the kill count looking right now we got over 1000 units destroyed lost 17 but overall it's not bad of course it's quite easy defending so far, I mean, <laughs> and a lot of the losses that we've had has been our allies. I mean, not those are not, of course, counted in our losses directly, but the troops lost on from our side is mostly been friendlies. That's two garrisons there. That's two friendly light infantry. Oh, hold on a minute. Get you in here. Did we manage to get a garrison in there? Well, not really, not r necessarily quite yet, at least. I can entrench you there, because we are starting to get a decent garrison here in Libenga. And that one's, well, there's not really a garrison in here, is there? We're trying to get one, but it's quite costly doing that. we still lost some territory somewhere. I'm building more trenches, of course. You're offering to buy some consumer goods. Sure, I will take the money. Okay, so these garrisons are really small, but at least we stopped that combat engineer on its tracks. Or wheels. Wait, 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 wait. You shouldn't be firing at us. There we go, we took a little bit back over there. Philippines wants to settle industrialists? Nah. Not interested right now. Oh, we got the trench here, but we didn't start getting any of the garrisons in there yet. 
Speaking of garrisons, we've got 37,000 reserve personnel, so it's still quite, um, well, low numbers, let's put it that way. The combat engineers are finally making their way out of that pickle that they were put in earlier. And now we are back to destroying anything trying to <laughs> drive along the road there. Plus, we've got the artillery within reach now, so we can shoot on these three provinces at least. Well, I mean, we've got the range to there, and then it's just a large hexagon around there. Colombia's offering industrial goods. I mean, seeing that we played Colombia in the previous run, I think we're going to have a decent relations with them. Now, have we managed to get any... I mean, we have got a decent bit of experience on large chunk of the units here. Oh, that's a lot of enemy units trying to get through. But luckily, we are in the trenches, so we don't take a lot of damage from them. Now, we can deal a decent bit on them instead. Right, let's get you in here. Try to stop that boxcar. Maybe we can go ahead and destroy a couple more artillery pieces in here. So we can see six uh, IF-2s are actually quite effective in combat. Because we've also got on some uh, upgrades on them, most likely. That make them even more effective. Or some tech upgrades compared to what some of the enemies might not have. Although, a fair chunk of them probably do. Well, let's go ahead and start building more trenches along the road here. We can, you can kind of think that it's just ditches alongside the road, protecting it. Or, well, trenches as the ditches. Okay, that is technically a friendly unit there, so it's not firing at us. But there are troops going through there still. So we really need to kind of get in there. And this is still a bit of a mess. Uh, did we get any more troops here yet? Aha, we did get the militias. Let's move them in. We're going to use the militias over here maybe to help uh, guard one trench at a time. So we're going to move the troops somewhere else where they might be needed more. For example, these two. I mean, we've got already two garrisons in there. So we can destroy that Italian unit, then we can go around and destroy that Greek unit. And um, everything should be alright. Uh, whether it's actually going to be though, we'll see. But yeah, this line seems to be holding quite nicely now. I mean, there's not much garrisons. I mean, there's a lot of garrisons in here. It needs a lot more, to be fair. But once we get the barracks, we can get up to seven in this uh, particular town. And that's going to help a long way. Right, so we're taking some casualties in here. Let's go ahead and move that one away. We'll send in these over here. Destroy those tanks. Then we are on the flat ground here. Uh, we'll probably destroy quite a few of these units. Oh, are they sending more? I think they are sending more. Oh, that's a tank destroyer. But it's not very good at it, what it does. But all we can do is we can go in here, destroy a fair chunk of artillery. Oh, okay, there's the tank still defending them, which is not great. Uh, what are we being offered? Military goods? Industrial goods? Nah, not interested right now. I think we have both insufficient numbers. Sufficient enough numbers, let's put it that way. Right, I mean, at least this uh, strike force has been doing a lot of damage on the enemy again. Of course, we are also taking some casualties in terms of manpower, which is not great. But at the same time, we are destroying the enemies more than we are losing. And we managed to push down the artillery a little bit, at least. Let's get you guys over here. Did we get any more troops? Oh no, we got the helicopter there, but not beyond that. Not right now, although we got the artillery pieces in here that we could move down there. So we can start bombarding more on the capital once more. Or some of the enemy artillery, I don't know. Right, let's go ahead and send these into Kimpeze. There's a lot of bombardment going on in here. Uh, let's go ahead and send these guys in to repair. We could repair there, or we could repair in... Rwanda. To be fair, we've got more troops to hit in Rwanda already, so we'll just take that. We could take these elite guards and maybe send them down here somewhere to kind of help defending the area. Now, this one... Since we've got the trenches over there, we can just scrap that one. I think we might keep the one at the border, just in case. I don't think they'll be able to utilize it, but, you know, that's a bit of extra security. I will defend it. Okay, so we're getting the garrisons on that side already. Hmm. What I should do, probably, is get a bit more troops over here. Then I get to start pushing more along the road there. 
Although, we could just uh, have them take um, the elite infantry, or elite guards rather, take a point in here, for example, for combat engineers. Speaking of which, let's go ahead and move them in here. That is a um, favorite chunk of troops there, but with the help of the Nigerian units, we should be able to push them back. Taking friendly fire, oh no. Who dare shoot at me? Okay, that is another tank over there, which may be a problem. At least that one's holding. Uh, did we? Oh, right, we did get this trench here. Let's just go ahead and get the four garrisons in there as well. And have we got on? We got this one, but we haven't started getting the troops there yet. For the most part, there's not much garrisons yet. But it is enough to kind of stop them in their tracks while they're trying to push in. I mean, over here, for example, it's uh, two very low-strength garrisons. Actually, how much longer? Oh, tomorrow, okay. We are technically out of time already, but we're just going to wait for the military production level 5 to get the stats for of the next level of garrisons. Which I... Uh, hold on a minute, I can check from here. So yeah, 8, 4, 10. I don't know if it upgrades it immediately, or do they need to go back to the city and then re... Re... Oh, well, I sent all of them back down. Okay, well, we can probably just wait for something to be attacked again. And see our garrisons. Not there, not there. Pretty sure... Oh, hold on a minute. Was there anything in here? Nope. Not yet. Should be able to destroy a decent chunk of these, but yeah, I think that's going to allow us to get a decent chunk of extra units. And did we unlock any new important military techs? Um, GPS navigation computers, that may have been unlocked before, to be fair. Yeah, that was unlocked before, never mind. But this would, oh, infrastructure rating would be pretty good. So yeah, there's a fair bit, bit of things that I will probably buy between the episodes or something. From the Russians, so at least take a look at what I can buy and all that. But yeah, we've got the upgraded garrisons, we still don't know, oh, there we, oh no, that's just the infantry, never mind. Okay, did we have any action down here yet with the garrisons? Because I'm sure that this side, oh, there we go. Oh yeah, it does look a bit more menacing. 17, 12, and 20. So that is a massive increase. My goodness. Okay, well, that's going to make a, quite a difference in the combats here. Yeah, there we go. Anyway, we are indeed out of time for this episode. So if you enjoyed this, please like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. Also, got the links down below in the description. But other than that, thank you very much for watching. Until next time, bye bye.